In this session, we're going to look at how we can leverage the data in an InfraWorks model. On my screen is a model that was started from Model Builder, although we don't have to stop there. Model Builder could actually be the starting point. We can then incorporate additional data into the model if we want to. If I open the Data Sources menu, you can see the sheer number of formats that InfraWorks can consume. Shapefiles, Land XML, SketchUp, CAD files, 3D models. We can also connect to several database formats. Once the data is in the model, it can be leveraged several ways. Here I'm leveraging it using a tool tip in the case of these buildings. If I select an object and then view its properties, we can see that InfraWorks' schema can be updated to hold custom attributes. Once these attributes are in the file, they can be leveraged for visualization. In this case, I'm going to do some thematic styling. I'm going to theme the buildings based on their number of floors. Maybe I could theme the buildings based on the year constructed. Now, I'm doing this with buildings, but you can do it with any of the data in the model. Just for a second, we'll look at another example. I'm going to go to an overall view, and then I'm going to bring up a listing of all of the layers that I have in this file. I happen to have a data layer here called Average Income. I'll turn that on, and now I can theme the model based on the average income information. So once again, we can do this with any data. Let me turn off that layer, and then I'm going to drag down to the bottom. I'm going to turn on the data layer that represents zoning. Here I have some saved queries. For instance, show me all the areas that are zoned as park. Show me all the areas that are zoned as R72. We can create and save queries like this for any of the data as well. Just for a second, let's assume there's a proposed site improvement plan on this lot. To visualize that, I can create a proposal. A proposal allows me to create an alternate version of the model without creating an entire copy. Once I create my proposal, I can then sketch in the improvement. Let's say in this case, we're going to be adding a building that's 500 feet tall. I can bring up the building tool, select a style, and then I can sketch my building on the lot. After I've laid out the building footprint, I can then assign a height to the building. In this case, I'll set this to 500 feet. Since the model represents a 3D environment, we can perform a 3D analysis. For instance, we'll do a sun and shadow study. Let me adjust my view, and then I can bring up the sun and shadow tools, and we can adjust the time or date to find out how this building is going to potentially cast shadows on the neighbors. Another nice thing about having the data in a 3D state, we can answer questions that sometimes come up at public meetings. For instance, maybe we have a concerned citizen that lives near this proposed project. Maybe they're wondering how this project affects them. For instance, how does this project look from their site? Since InfraWorks represents a 3D visualization of our data, we can view the project from any location. We can also easily make comparisons between the before and after conditions, making it easier to evaluate how a proposed project may affect others. Using InfraWorks, we can easily visualize our data in a true 3D environment, allowing us to better plan, analyze, and evaluate the proposed improvements in our community.